Could you be punished for being a hero? That might just be the case in our next story. Have a look at this one. It was a video that went viral, seen all across the country. A 58-year-old Craig Jerry enjoying his drink at the Starbucks. Suddenly, a man wearing a Transformers mask pulls out a gun and a bag demanding money from the barista. Fresno police identify the suspect as 30-year-old Ryan Flores. In the video, Jerry is seen hitting Flores with a chair, and a violent fight ensues. Investigators say Jerry was stabbed in the neck during the struggle, but managed to wrestle away the knife and stab Flores several times. Chief Jerry Dyer calls the Good Samaritan a hero, but Flores' mother, Pamela Kimente, says her son is a victim too. He has 17 total stab wounds, lacerations, and defensive wounds. Kimente says Jerry used excessive force when trying to stop her son from allegedly robbing the Starbucks. The guy, in my opinion, went from a Good Samaritan to a vigilante. Now, Kimente says her son plans on filing a lawsuit against Jerry for that alleged excessive force. Yeah. Wow is right. Wow. You hear this story and you see the footage, and of course, you're all asking yourself, would I be brave enough to do what that mm. individual did? Mary, is there a case here? Is there a possibility that a case. the Good Samaritan, okay, <laughs> but does, is it a good case? Could this Good Samaritan end up in trouble? He could, and you know, what we do is, in, in the law, we, we have this fancy term and it's called reasonable. Um, did he reasonably believe that he needed to step in to defend, because you have a right to defend others, and then was his actions reasonable given the circumstances of what was going on? Well, so um, Mary, to that point, as we were watching the footage, is it reasonable that he was first stabbed? And then, you can see that he's still wrestling. There's no control over that person. Question, and that's why he, he was stabbing, right? So what do you think about The question that, that needs to be asked is, was he using excessive force? Mm. Um, and you know, you have to put yourself in his shoes at that time. He got stabbed in the neck. You can that's see. That's a life-threatening right. injury. And I mean, as a head and neck surgeon, Absolutely. somebody stabs, stabs me in the neck, I think I'm going to die. And from what so I see, I, I would agree. I'm fighting for my life. From and what I've seen, I would agree. You've got this cortisol output, right? So you're wrestling. It's yes. like, we're all here in hair and makeup. And well, I think two stabs back would have been reasonable, not <laughs> seven. Right. You know what I mean? Like, can I, can I say that if you, yeah. Mary, I know I am not in the legal system. I'm not a lawyer. If you walk into a store with a gun and a knife and you do that, to me, you should lose your rights as far as when a scenario like that happens, you've lost your rights. Because I am so sorry, but when, if that were me and I'm sitting there having a sandwich and I see that go down and if I have the courage to try to stop this individual, the amount of adrenaline running through my system, medically speaking, is so intense, I cannot imagine the, just the reflexive well, nature. And so, so how Fight or the, flight response, right. like you said. Exactly. But leave, fight or flight is not even leave, leave, anymore. Leave, That's leave just it to survival. mom, though, what's sticking up for her son, oh, who walks into this Starbucks her baby. with a knife. My baby, oh, well, <laughs> my poor baby. My poor he beat baby. him up. He shouldn't have beaten him up this so badly. Victim. But, Drew, you, how can you blame the mom if we live in a system where. She has a chance of winning this case. I know. That's uh, my point is, well, I wouldn't play? want you on the jury if I was the attorney. I don't, think, you want, I don't think you'd jury. want any of us on the jury. <laughs> but but can you as a judge, can you just throw this case out if you do not believe it has merit? Well, the question of fact, was the force excessive? I mean, and that's what needs to be considered, and that's what a judge, if that person is a trier of fact or a jury, would decide. I mean, if he took, look, he if this all went anything. down, and then the guy surrendered and said, no, no, that's right. and then the guy grabs the gun and shoots him, I understand then. Right. But I mean, if a guy's attacking you and you're just trying to subdue him, okay, anyway, I, this, this one, <laughs> when I read this story, I was fired up.